Hello, once again, this is Bishop Raymond from Family Christian Center in New Rochelle, New York. Here's another nugget of truth that I've uh, discovered in Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. The Bible encourages us to run this race, that is, this Christian walk. It, in, it likens us to a race, and it encourages us to run this race, keeping our eyes on the one who has finished the race ahead of us. The Lord Jesus Christ, whom the Bible refers to as the author and the finisher of our faith. The author and the finisher of our faith. And the Bible says, because of the joy that was set before Jesus, he was able to endure the shame and the pain and the suffering in all that the cross was. But he is now seated at the right hand of the Father on his throne where he's reigning. And the idea here is for those of us who sometimes wonder, why is it that um, we must endure things? Why is it that life has hills and valleys? Why are there seasons of even, I would say, suffering where we have to endure things that, that we consider to be unpleasant in life? Again, the Bible lets us know that before there is a throne, there is a cross. Jesus first endures the cross. He first endures the suffering, he endures the pain, the disgrace, the rejection, and everything that the cross means before he's able to enter into glory where he's now seated at the right hand of the Father in glory from where he's reigning. And for you and I, brothers and sisters, it's the same way. You know, suffering or going through things or dealing with difficulties, everyone knows that it always helps us to develop character in us. We've heard that. And it's true. There's nothing that develops character in us than a little hardship. But I believe that more than anything else, it, it's important for you and I to understand that you will come into seasons of victory. You will come into seasons where the thing that you're going through now will come to an end. And you'll enter into a season where, as it were, you were like you know, in your glory, you're in your throne, you're, you have a story to tell, and lives are being inspired because of the story that you tell, of the thing that you suffered, and how God has brought you through that. And it is the same for you as it is for me. This is what God desires to do in all of our lives. And this is the reason why we are encouraged to keep our eyes on Jesus, because that is the pattern that He has set before us. That is the pattern that He has laid for us. That is the road that He has established for us as Christians to travel, to know that before our, our, our glory, or before our throne, there is a cross that we have to endure. So if you're going through a season right now where you feel like you're on the cross and you're being crucified and everything that I mentioned, rejection, pain, suffering, betrayal, and all of those things are what you're dealing with right now, please know that you're also going to come into a time when you'll be in your victory, you'll be in your glory. So keep your eyes on Him. He is the author and the finisher of your faith. And He's simply writing another chapter in the story of your life so you will be able to be an inspiration and a blessing to many. God bless you. Keep your eyes on Jesus.